Chapter 2, Fundamental Data part, Types, Part 7, last part, here we go. So we can copy a character from a string. We can get one character out of a string. And this is called a substring. We can use the substring method to get specific characters. So let's say we want to pull out the first two characters from the string hello with an exclamation point. Notice in this graphic it shows you that we start counting at zero. Um, I'm not exactly sure why Java starts counting at zero, but it does. So when we're looking at the location of things in a string or later on in something called an array, the first element, the first character, is always zero. I like to think of this as an offset from the beginning. So the first character is in the first position. Kind of like if you go to Europe and they talk about floors, the first floor is one level up. It's not, as we do in, in the United States, have the, the second floor be one level up. The um, uh, So the first position is location 0. And if we want to pull out the first two characters, we have to go from 0 to 2. So it includes 0, but it doesn't include 2. Look at this example. String greeting equals hello. String sub equals greeting.substring. We're using the substring method of the, of the string class. 0, comma, 2. So that means we start at 0, and we go up to, but not including, location 2. So that will pull off HE. Let's look at the next example. Substring.greeting 3, comma, 5. So we start at location 3, so that's going to be 0, 1, 2, 3. That's going to be the L. And we go up to, but not including, the 5. So we're going to get LO will be stored in sub 2. We can copy a portion of a string. Let's say we want to get the first and the last character out. So we can say, we can use the char at method. Rather than substring, we can use char at. That's the character at a given location. So look at the example. String greeting equals Harry. Char start equals greeting dot char at zero. So we go to the zeroth location, which is the first letter, and we get the character that's there and return that. That gets returned to start. By the way, it's left in greeting. We're just copying it and putting it in start. And then under char last equals greeting dot char at four, we go to location four, which contains the Y. We copy that Y and put it in the character variable last. Here are some uh, examples of different string operations that you can use. You can, um, if we set up a, ooh, there's a typo um, in the first row under statement where it says string str equals ja. That string should have an uppercase s. It should not have a lowercase s. So string str equals ja, and then str equals str plus va. The resulting in str will be Java. Um, and then we have system dot dot println please plus enter your name that concatenates please together with enter your name. Team equals 49 plus er. It converts the 49 to a string and then concatenates it together with er s. Then we have string first equals in dot next. That um, if we type in Harry that will put Harry in first, and then if we type in Morgan, that will put Morgan in last. String greeting equals H and S, um, and then when we say int n equals greeting dot length, well let's count up how many characters are there. One, two, three, four, five. I'm counting the spaces. So n will contain the variable, excuse me, the value five, because there are five characters in the string greeting. And then strings str equals Sally, char ch equals str dot char at one. The character at location one, remember we start counting at zero when we're talking about position. Um, Sally is zero, a is one. So a would get stored in ch. Here are some uh, more examples. Try to walk through these yourself and see what will be printed. Remember that str dot length tells you how many total characters there are, um, and uh, substring will start at the given location up to but not including the second location. So if we have um, substring 1 comma 4, it's going to start at location 1, which would be the A, and go up to but not including the um, character stored at location 4. So that would be A-L-L -L would be resulting as uh, in the first example.